first and the foremost barrier is age. We always think either we are too young for the role or we think we are too old for the role. So, but I think the realization that age is just a number and uh, we cannot define what we are capable of basis the biological body we, we live in is just a body that we live in and that cannot decide or be our guide to follow our heart or do what we want to do. Like I said, age is just a number and we cannot have age as a guiding parameter for us achieving our dreams. If we have dreams at whatever age, uh, we can do what we want to do. Second barrier is negativity. Several times in life, uh, you exactly won't get what you want. But however, how you deal with those circumstances is going to decide how you proceed in your career. So there could be a negative outcome in terms of various things. Your family life is not doing as well as it should. Uh, there are there are certain barriers uh, in terms of uh, in terms of challenges in the office. It could be office politics or uh, difficulty dealing with certain people at work or several others. And we can have several other such. We can talk about several other such situations. That's right. But what is important is to allow these situations to block you from achieving what you want to do and flow in negativity or you move from there and choose positivity for yourself. So choosing positivity is super important. The third barrier is toxic people. So see, you will find toxic people around you. Nothing can prevent that. But you should be able to differentiate between what is so what is going to take you ahead in your career and what is going to drag you behind. So toxic people drag you right down with them, whether it is negativity, cruelty, victim syndrome, just plain craziness, uh, binge watching, uh, unhealthy eating. It could be n number of things there. And the second point here I want to make is you're the average of five people you spend the most time with and which is why you need to choose your company very, very, very wisely. It's important to review what you read, what, what you consume in terms of media on your devices, what are the people you spend your time with, because that's going to decide your advancement in career. Given that you're going to be the average of five people, you cannot be on the top if you're talking about the five people, if you're already at the peak, which means that it's time for you to change your company. Probably to look at, have better examples, have mentors who've done more than, uh, or mentors who could, inspire you to do more and a lot of other different things that you need to do to probably increase your network and uh, benchmark against better people. You will never reach your peak until you surround yourself with the right people. This is a proven tactics. Any, any, or any autobiography of any successful person you read, you'll find this. Uh, always entrepreneurs will have their success circle, which moves with them. Next barrier we are talking about is what other people think. And this is a barrier which stops most of us uh, from living our life. Uh, we, we end up spending, all of us, at least at some point of time, each day, do get into that syndrome of thinking about someone else thinking, what would someone else be thinking about you? It could be your spouse, it could be your children, it could be your parents, it could be anyone, someone at work, etc. And every time you hit this syndrome, you need to tell yourself that, look, this is an absolute waste of time and energy. I cannot decide, uh, I cannot waste my energy in thinking what other people are going to think about me. I cannot give my remote control to others. I have to keep my remote control with myself. I shall act and do things the way uh, that are essential and progressive for me versus thinking how others are going to think about me because that's an absolute, absolute disastrous road that you will never be able to please everybody. You'll never be as good or as bad that others think about you. The Next barrier is fear. And this is such a huge barrier. Basically fear, what is fear? Fear is nothing but a lingering emotion. You keep thinking you have an emotion and you kind of keep lingering over it and then you add more fuel to it by imagining it further. Now, let's say if it was an exam and there could be a fear of failure, 
if it's a board meeting which i have to attend and present i might have i might have that fear of not being able to handle the board meeting uh, courageously and professionally if it's an interview i may i may have the fear of not being able to uh, respond to the queries as well uh, for example if this there's a webinar here which i'm addressing i may have the fear of not being able to confidently present to you all and keep thinking oh my god what you all are going to think about me what if i'm not going to get the right words because it's a 40 45 minute conversation and to not have fear is abnormal you have to have a bit of fear but what do you do with fear is you make fear your best friend so once fear becomes your best friend and is sitting beside you and you embrace fear you're good and it's okay if you feel, if you if you have any amount of fear it's better to accept that and move with that rather than oppose it or rather than allow it to stop you or res allow it to resist you from doing something past or the future what are we trying to say here that either whenever we're making career decisions or making any life decisions we are either thinking of the past or thinking what will happen in the future instead of thinking what can we do now the power of now is forgotten by most of us in most of the situations and this is not again like i said these barriers all of us experience at some point in time however the ability to convert the barrier into strength quickly in couple of seconds couple of minutes differentiates between someone who's successful and who's not so successful so every point in time when you're trying to link something with your past just remember it was past it has happened and you can't change it so accept the past the way it is even if you have had traumatic experiences you've had bad experiences you have had no not so good experiences or even if you had good experiences say something has happened in the past i've got an award in the past that's in the past i still need to work hard today to for my to create the present that i want to create i cannot just live in the past it's happened it is over a lot of celebrities you know kind of especially people in bollywood and hollywood kind of get too carried away with 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 say uh, massive uh, past stories but they kind of uh, kind of forget that that was past and there is more work to happen in present to create a better future so let's stop living in the past whether it was traumatic or whether it was probably the the best past ever either way it is past come into the future the future is yet to happen and will always always remain uncertain one thing we none of us control is future so our energy our strengths our uh, all our capabilities should purely be focused on present this barrier 7 the state of the world the ukraine russia issue happened recently uh, crude oil prices went up uh then um, uh, there was up elections and whatever happened around there bjp in power and various other things endless things keep happening there are cycles of war attacks fragile economies failing companies unicorns uh there is good there is bad and uh, maybe if you look at the newspaper more bad than good but, and it kind of sometimes takes you to a point where you start believing that maybe one day the world might come to an end or everything is else is happening good for others not happening for me it could swing between this or between that the reality is all of this whatever is happening to others it is others and you don't control it when you don't control it you you need to be aware about it and that's all this do something you enjoy it takes time to find a great fit but it's always worth it we have to ensure that we are doing things that give us we we enjoy doing whatever we are doing next one is be curious and ask questions ask as many questions as you can no one knows it all and it's okay to not know just say i don't know this it's it's absolutely okay don't fake don't cover up not required as women more so if we try to be fake and or if we try to cover up we only going to make Uh, a mockery of our own selves so let's not get into that space at all that's cluttered let's be curious let's ask question uh, let's not judge our own questions so early days when i was not as confident as i am today 
um, I would sometimes ask, tell myself, this is a very silly question. How can I ask it in front of 30 people? And then there was an insight that, look, if I'm judging my own questions, I'm never going to find those answers and I'll have to live in ignorance forever. And that was the best insight I could have ever got. And I made a firm decision that whatever question I may have, big, small, irrespective of the forum, whoever that is, without thinking at who's going to think both about me or without ju being judgmental about my own questions or without judging who is going to think what about me if I ask those silly questions, I chose to ask questions. Third tip is say yes to the scary stuff. So every time when it is asked, who can do this? Can you, can someone volunteer for this? How, mu how much ever scary that may be? Please say yes. Please don't say no. Please don't be scared. Please don't shut it off saying that Are iske liye jaldi utna padega, iske liye ta mehnat karna padega, we can busy jayega. There'll be all kind of things. When Chitra reached out to me a month and a half ago and she said, can you do this webinar? And, uh, and the date that came up was 23rd March. March is technically an annual closing for us, closer to IPL. It seemed difficult. And then I, was, I, was, I had two options, either to say yes or to say no. I chose to say yes. Uh, and uh, I have a dream, my, my, my passion is, my dream is to be, be the best orator in the country and be a TEDx speaker. And this becomes a platform to me, for me to practice my, uh, my speech, uh, to, be, uh, to be able to talk to multiple uh, people, to be able to connect with the audience and I use each opportunity that comes my way. I was on panel discussion, uh, two panel discussions this month for Women's Day. Uh, one for a university, other for an insurance company, and it only adds value to whatever I am doing. I only learn more. I only am able to handle uh, uh, impromptu questions better. I am able to handle impromptu situations better. It only makes me more confident and more picture perfect. So my 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 appeal to you is: please say yes to every scary stuff. You may make mistakes, and it's absolutely okay. But just don't shuffle off side of opportunities just because uh, it seems scary or it seems a lot of work. Next is get out of your comfort zone. <clears throat> so here I'll give you one quick example. Again, it links to my life. And easy. Uh, the reason why I'm using my life examples is I, assuming you'll be able to easily relate to this. So uh, about a couple of months ago, I didn't know how to make a read. And this is for, and, and honestly, I did not know how to make a reel. So I said, look, the whole world is making reels and TikTok videos and how am I supposed to, I, I, I use Instagram, but I do not typically how to make that reel with those uh, recorded audios, etc. And I just took someone's help and I made my first reel. And then thereafter, reel became, uh, you know, part of my life. And I started making more reels and more reels. And trust me, I got out of my comfort zone and so many so many of my friends and family members who've not reached out to me for a couple of years. Uh, after seeing the reel, they've called me and they said like, oh, wow, it's so nice to see you in the reel, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what is important is not what they said. What is important is I stepped out of my comfort zone. Were my first few reels great? Answer is no. They may not have been great. But are my current reels better? Answer is yes. So wherever I moved, I moved from place A to place B. And there will be several other things, several other such things where you will get opportunities to get out of your comfort zone. Please get out of your comfort zone. Don't stay within the preconceived circle that you put around yourself. Break the circle, step out and explore life. Next is to be a team player. Now, this is super, super, super important. Solo people do not succeed. You have to be able to work with teams, work with groups of people uh, and all of such things. Having said that, having said that, especially for women, please do not uh, be the one who's always offering office housework. Now, what is office housework? Doing all the unpaid job of volunteering for office picnic volunteering for some such, certain other such things. Those are good, but along with that also volunteer for important office tasks. 
so you do that and not do office tasks just volunteer for picnics is not going to take you next level you volunteer for picnic you also volunteer for a project a paid project or a project which will bring uh, output to your company or increase the income of your company or a, a project which will add value to the client so do both but not just it, it's 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 not right and women do get into these trips where they will choose all the voluntary work but ignore uh, ignore the work which is which probably is going to bring promotion or probably which is going to be rewarded more next is be a lifelong learner and updated being updated is a core skill no matter which stage you are in your career what you're doing shelf life of any skill it is said is about 5 7 years not more so every skill that you have today uh, in couple of years a machine is going to replace your skill and then what are you going to do you'll be outdated so just to be in the business to be to continue to be doing what you're doing you need to keep dating keep updating yourself learn new skills at least spend 10% of your income in updating yourself now it up, update not just update everything mind body and soul update your mind update your body update your soul when i say mind body and soul when i say mind i'm talking about intellectual learning and intellectual investment when i'm saying body i mean invest in your health and everything in your grooming in your health and everything that makes you feel great and when i say soul follow your hobbies or anything or any spiritual reading that is required or anything that makes you satisfies your soul it could be singing dancing anything swimming i don't know whatever that is because all of if your mind body and soul is uh, satisfied you will be at your best at your at the, at the peak of your success so this is super super critical moving to next one always ask and do what you what you say you will do first is always ask so if you need help go and ask for help there don't be uh, don't shy away from asking you might think somebody might say no but there is a fair chance of somebody might saying yes so believe that trust me if you asking anything to about a a sample of 100 people 50 will say certainly yes so please ask that is op- that is point 1 and when you say that you will do something you do it come what may your word is your promise so that is that is very critical to success it doesn't matter if you starting your career if you are in uh, you know in in the later part of your career or if you are in uh, middle 30 40s doesn't matter whatever in whichever phase of your career you are you have to a ask when you need help or when you need anything or when you uh, when you want to offer something and second is when you say that you will do something please do it moving to the next point always be building your network network is core to success your job might stay with you for a certain period of time after that what are we going to build on and that is network you cannot uh, cannot be successful without a great network so just don't limit your network to your immediate colleagues there could be there will be teams across the country across the globe find the time to connect with them there will be corporate vendors who are doing great work like legal finance and so many others speak to them uh, speak to people from diverse fields not just restricted to your own field and that's where you will probably get not just knowledge you will also be you know you will also have a store of brain trust now what is brain trust it is the web of contacts you can call when you have questions or need expertise beyond yours next is do for reasons other than money so your reason to do something cannot be money it has to be other than money money is a by product of your work money is not the product of your work this realization is super important while it is not not just salary for which you work it's a by product when i say it's a by product of work when you work you are, you you build network you build uh, your own goodwill you are able to uh, add more value to this uh, to the globe 
you are able to achieve more as an individual become a better person personally and socially and of course in the process you make money which feeds into your system and takes care of your uh, expenses as well as savings so money is purely by product you need to be best at doing what you're doing money cannot be the end product of what you're doing so this is super super critical uh one of the other points that i have here is work smarter not harder so really nobody cares how busy you are stop complaining about your workload uh it's just about working smarter and uh, being being more efficient at doing what you are doing and the last point is delegate as a leader delegating delegation is critical it is important that you should you should it is important that you are able to delegate uh, everything which is monotonous which is done in a certain pattern whether it is it could be starting from home it could be cooking it could be car washing it could be cleaning it could be uh, depending on the choices you make tutoring your child if it is important for you to personally tutor you may choose that but if you can delegate that and you think it is safe to do that you can choose that but which this is this is my favorite quote don't tell me sky is the limit when there are footprints on the moon so be limitless achieve and do whatever you want to do believe that you are enough and visualize your career from point a to point b how are you going to achieve what is coming in your way what are the things that are obstructing take courses learn more with work and best time uh, into education and learning on the side so many courses are available so many virtual semi virtual uh, trainings are available uh, have mentors and uh, just move to your next career goal without wasting or uh, wasting or judge or rather wasting energy and time brooding over what is not possible rather think about what all is possible visualize those and let things unfold on itself believe that you'll be able to do it and trust me you can win office politics yeah oh my god so much so much and it doesn't end you you face it every day because see i'll tell you my first couple of years were easy slightly easy in terms of politics because at that time you're not at the peak but the moment you start climbing the ladder and if more so if you're a woman the office politics comes to bite you okay it is uh, sometimes it will be more sometimes it will be less it's like a salt in the food okay so sometimes it's in balance sometimes slightly higher when you feel it's biting you and sometimes uh, things are so smooth and the food is bland you know like that so the reason why i use salt as an example is because salt is always going to be present as long as archana you want to work in a corporate career office politics is going to be part and parcel of it like salt in food you cannot let go of salt right so you cannot uh, imagine uh, an office without any politics so firstly acceptance that there'll be politics now what is office politics it's basically while you are doing what you are doing there are others functioning in the same system who may have their own agendas etc and who are also talking simultaneously and which when it comes to you might seem like politics and what you are doing might seem as politics to other people so then uh, if that is politics then uh, it is good because you are also part of the politics so the moment you accept this as is one and then you maximize on your strength you need to know what your strengths are people will work towards bringing you down directly or indirectly or agenda driven however you have to be confident your confidence should kill their intention so that is the easiest way to handle office politics be so bloody confident that nobody dares to stand in front of you and tell you things